What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 ah, welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for sign of Aquarius. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your chart: Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Venus in your chart. Steps to the basics: Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general reading for sign of I encourage everybody to check out your sun, moon, rising, and north node signs as well for additional message or messages if they do apply for you. Um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug them in how they resonate. Um, free general collective reading. This is not a personal reading. Okay? Um, free general reading. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. You have to plug them in how it resonates. Be the leader of your own discernment. Okay? All right. Love you guys so much. We're at 13,330 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. 13,330. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 405. The link's in the description, bo description box below if you'd like to donate. Okay, so I received a couple channel messages in. This is for mid-July of 2022, but, you know, there's 7 point some some billion people in the world and tons of Aquariuses. So for some of you guys, it can start resonating now. For some mid-July, some uh, past July. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Um, like I said, there's 13,300 of you guys. So, I mean, I pull the energy in of you guys. So you have to... Plug the messages in that resonate. Okay, so we're going to get started. Okay, so um, the first channel message I received was um, um, an Aquarius is about to learn of a pregnancy soon triplets. I heard you're about to be shocked as hell. So that's for one of you guys. Now, I just did Capricorn's reading. There was a wealthy masculine energy that is legally married currently right now in the energetic space that has basically knocked up a Pisces feminine. And she's about to find out she's pregnant with triplets. She doesn't know she's pregnant with triplets, and she's about to find out. So I don't, and I heard an Aquarius was involved. So I don't know if the Aquarius is the baby daddy or the sugar daddy or what have you, what have you, or if the Aquarius is a family member or a friend or a community member or what have you, what have you. But somehow you guys are linked into that, that because I got that channel message in for your reading. So whoever you are and however you are connected to this Pisces fam, that's about to um, find out she's pregnant with triplets. Anxiety. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I feel maybe for one of you guys, you were the sugar daddy of her. Um, possibly. For one, you could be anything else connected to her. But somehow a pregnant Pisces feminine that doesn't realize she's pregnant with triplets right now, but is about to find out she is. Is heavily significant in an Aquarius's life in some shape, form, or fashion. No, sir. Hey, uh uh. You plug it in, how it resonates. And whoever this Pisces fem is that I was pulling in and in Capricorns, the person that impregnated her is a very wealthy masculine energy that is legally married to somebody else. Um, just saying, just saying. Whoever, so it might be the same Pisces fem, it might be um, somebody else. But you're about to find out of a pregnancy of a Pisces fem with triplets. You're about to be shocked if that resonates for you, Aquarius. Okay? For one of you guys. However, this Pisces fem is linked in. And the other one I heard, um, spirit messages here up sign Aquarius. I heard um, phone call after 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 phone call. It was about five or six of those. And then I heard um, an Aquarius is about to completely cut off a Libra. Too much drama. That was the next one. And then I heard um, um, there's about to be many, 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 many detours in Aquarius's life soon. Um, you're not going to want to take these detours, but you're going to have to take them because of life events that are about to happen in your life. So you plug it in. However, that resonates Aquarius. A lot of chaotic energy is what it sounds like here. Um, whoever this is for and how this applies. So Phone call after phone call after phone call after phone call. It sounds like you are about to receive these phone call after phone call after phone call. Or you could be making these phone call after phone call after phone call. However, that resonates and applies in your life. 
the pregnancy of the Pisces fan with the triplets. You're going to be shocked, whoever you are, um, about to find out about this. And um, some kind of detour after detour after detour. I heard you're not going to want to take them. It sounds like it's physical detours in the universe. Um, but I heard um, shocking life events and life happenings and things that are about to happen out in the universe in the 3D are about to make make it happen whether you want to or not. Um, how that resonates and applies. It's about to seriously derail your primary plans. But this is divinely gu guided to happen. It's about to seriously derail derail your primary plans is what I heard, but it's divinely guide, guided to happen. So these detours out in the universe are about to seriously derail your primary plans, but it's divinely guided to happen. So divine intervention in the universe. And one of you guys, I heard you're about to completely cut off a Libra femme because it's just way too much drama. So whoever this Libra femme is and how they resonate and apply in your life, Aquarius, um, Apparently, there's too much drama. So, you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Younger woman, carriage, shield. Younger woman, dealings in a relationship with a younger woman. I feel for a lot of you guys, it's that pregnant Pisces fan, pregnant with triplets, and she doesn't realize she is right now. She's about to find out she is. Um, she might have realized she was pregnant, but maybe not realized she was pregnant with triplets, I'm thinking. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Shield, you need to defend yourself. We have anxiety. Number 18 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 18, it can be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Scorpion, frog, for some you could be dealing with a wa um, water sign. You have double water sign energy. But for some of you guys, I strongly feel you're dealing with two or two plus water signs. If you are, they can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Fourth them and Hemorrhage of your charts. You're definitely dealing with Pisces fam. Pregnant Pisces fam with triplets, I'll tell you that. Scorpion and frog, water sign energy. And then healing. Scorpion. So much truth from the past has already been exposed and more is about to be exposed. For some Aquariuses, this will be a really good thing. For some, it's about to bite you in the ass in a huge way. It depends on what side of karma you're on. Have you been lying and slandering and defamating people's character, or have you not? Oh, man. So you plug it in how it resonates. So um, a lot of truth has already been exposed, and more is about to be exposed. Um, however, that resonates and applies in your life, Aquarius. Um for some of you guys, it's going to be really good that the truth is coming out. So I think somebody has lied on you or defamed your character or something of that nature. And the truth is being exposed on you. For some of you guys, I think you have been the one that has lied or defamed somebody's character. And it's about to basically come back and bite you in the butt with like the scorpion tail. Boom, 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 boom. The stinger energy. Um, for some, it's theft. Extortion, money laundering, fraud. For some, it's theft, extortion, money laundering, and fraud. So, for some, it's theft, extortion, money laundering, and fraud. For some, it's lies, defamation of character. I mean, the whole works. I mean, that's terrible. But I feel for some, energies can be reversed. So, for some, I feel you were frauded, you were stole from, you were um, extorted, money laundered. You were stole from, I feel for some. And the truth's about to be exposed on that for you, and which is going to be good for you. Um, and more is about to be exposed. But for some, I feel you have stole, you have extorted, you have money laundered, you have frauded, you have defamed people's characters and lied. Um, so it's about to backfire on you. So I heard it really all depends on what side of the karmic wheel you're on. So it, are you putting good into the universe, Aquarius? Or are you putting bad? Only you know 
your story, not anybody else, okay? Because it is interchangeable. So well, however you're putting it out in the universe, okay? But one of you guys is about to be stung with a freaking scorpion stinger um, because your, your karmic bank basically needs to be filled because of negative karma. For one, I think it's somebody else's karmic bank about to be filled because they have lied. For one of you, a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Gemini, and a Leo is about to become very significant in your life. Some of these people in positive ways, some in negative ways. Okay, I heard for some of you guys, a Scorpio, a Gemini, a, Lib uh, a Libra, and a um, Leo is about to become very significant in your life, either in a positive or a negative way. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates there, Aquarius. And a Cancer. And a Cancer. And a Cancer, too. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Frog. A very significant thunderstorm, a very significant earthquake, and a very significant tsunami, and a very significant flood is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. A very significant flood, tsunami, earthquake, and um, thunderstorm is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. So I uh, think of the rain here on the card with the frog we have tsunami flood earthquake and um flood those are all like natural disasters so you plug it in how it resonates um i look at the rain on this card with the frog um somehow they're about to become very significant in your life aquarius A new pet is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life as well. A new pet is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life as well. Some a reptile, some a cat, some a dog. Some a reptile, some a cat, some a dog. So some it's a reptile, some a cat, some a dog. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. A stolen inheritance is about to become very, very, very significant in Aquarius' life as well. A stolen inheritance is about to become very significant in Aquarius' life as well. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Aqu um, anxiety. An Aquarius is about to transmute the energy in a huge way, about to report unemployment fraud, tax evasion, and stolen inheritance. They never thought they would. Okay, I heard an Aquarius is about to do something they never thought they would do, or report unemployment fraud tax evasion and um stolen inheritance they never thought they would i think it's giving you lots of anxiety aquarius um you know somebody that has committed unemployment fraud tax evasion and um money, uh, what was the other one uh, stolen inheritance and for some it's knowing of somebody that stole somebody's short-term disability benefits long-term disability benefits and a false workers compensation claim Oh my God. And for some of you guys, it's knowing of someone that stole someone's short-term disability benefits, long-term disability benefits, and filed a false, false work, worker's compensation claim. 
So I think it gives you lots of anxiety because you know you're an accessory to crime or crimes. And so you're about to report this person or people that did this. And yeah, those are huge crimes. Those are like felony charges uh, for anybody who doesn't know that. Uh, for sure, for sure. So you plug it in how it resonates, but I think, um, I think it, it gives you like the nine of swords, stress, anxiety, worry, fear, but the anxiety, um, because you know this. So uh, you're about to transmute the energy and report the um, the person or people that did this. For some, I strongly feel it was water signs because you have strong water sign energy in here, strong water sign energy. A significant lawsuit. A religious organization is placing on many people is very significant in Aquarius' life as well. Oh my God. A significant lawsuit a religious organization is placing on many people is significant in an Aquarius' life as well. So some kind of significant uh, a lawsuit I heard a religious organization is placing on many people. Um, I think that gives you anxiety. Maybe you're one of the ones in this lawsuit or maybe you just know about the lawsuit. Um, but one of you guys knows about a lawsuit that a religious organization is placing on many people. Um, it might be the frauders or the scammers, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. This is a hot mess express. Um, you plug the messages in that resonate. Healing. For one, healing from a... STD, for one, you're about to need to heal from an STD. Water sign energy. Oh, from one, you've he uh Okay, so for one, you're healing from an STD. For one, you're about to need to heal from an STD. I heard water sign energy. So as heavy STD energy in here. I didn't hear what kind of STDs it was. I don't know if it's trick, if it's herpes, if it's uh, gonorrhea, if it's um hiv i don't know um you have to plug the std in that you have had or does have or is about to have only you know who you've been sexually connected with and what you got in the std std department if you do you plug it in how it resonates aquarius um but i heard water sign energy and you got strong water sign energy in here so i think a water sign gave it to you uh cancer Pisces, scorpio they could uh, have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, North, No, Manhattan, and Jupiter charts. Uh, however that resonates, it applies. STD, energy strong, whether you've already healed, healing now, or is about to heal from it. And a healing from a surgery is significant for one. And a significant motor vehicle accident. Healing from a surgery is significant for one of you guys and a significant motor vehicle accident. So a lot of healing here, whether it's from the motor vehicle accident, I don't know if it's whiplash or it was more severe or, um, or um, surgery, it sounds like you've already had, um, or um, the STDs. You plug it in how it resonates. Oh, Lord. Younger woman, dealings of relationship with younger woman. A feminine energy younger than you is about to become very significant in your life. For some, she is a client. For some, she is a mother. For some, she is a hoe. Oh, my God. I heard a hoe. Oh, my God. Whoa. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, so, who... I don't care if you're 55, 45, 35, 25. Whoever this person is, they're about to become very significant in your life. They're they're going to be younger than you. So younger than your current age. Um, whatever age you are and how this applies. For some, she is a mother. So a mother of child or children. For some, she is your client. So a client of yours in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, so you do business with her or she does business with, well, she's your client. So she does business with you. 
Um, and for some, she's a hoe. So think of the song. She's a hoe. She's a hoe. That's what I think of. But, you know, you plug in how it So she gets around. She spreads those legs. Woo! Just saying. Um, I don't know, man. I've been celibate for three years. So whoever this person is, just saying, just saying. Um, but for some, she's a mother. So a mother, a child, or children. Uh, for some, the hoe could be a mother. I didn't hear she was, but she might be. I know a couple of hoey mothers. Just saying, just saying. Just because you have kids don't disclaim you from being a hoe. And that's just the truth. So um, however that plugs in. But for some, she's a mother. A very high vibrational mother. A very high vibrational mother. So a very high vibrational mother. So for some, it's a very high vibrational mother. For some, she's your client. So she does business. Um, she comes and provides your services. And for some, she's a hoe. So she sleeps around with many people. Um, however, that resonates at Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, 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 for some, th this a significant hostess. And a significant waitress at a restaurant is going to become very significant in your life as well. For some, a significant hostess and for some, a significant waitress at a restaurant is about to become very significant in your life as well, Aquarius. Um, so I think she's younger than you, whatever age you are. I heard for some, she's a hostess and for some, she's a waitress. So the hostess is the person at the very front of the restaurant that seats you to your table for anybody who doesn't know and the waitress is the one that um you know takes your order and um get your food and make sure you enjoy it and all that um i feel it's a femme energy um for some it could be a masculine taking on heavy femme but i'm feeling for a lot of you guys it's femme energies but you plug it in your own life how it resonates there aquarius if that resonates for you okay Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Truth that was not gotten out to a particular person is about to get out to a particular person. For one, it's going to make you very happy. For one, you are going to be very stressed because you were not honest. Okay. Her truth is about to get out to a particular person. Um, for one, you're going to be very happy that this truth is about to get out to the particular person. So I think for some, you might be the truth speaker about to speak the truth to this particular person. Um, but for one of you guys, you it sounds like strategically withheld information from this person strategically. Um, but it sounds like it's about to get out to this person um, and it's going to stress you out with the anxiety part because you strategically withheld the information from the person um, and it's going to stress you out. So you plug it in how it resonates. But for one, you're going to be happy the information is going to get out to the person. So I think you might be the truth teller to the person for some of you guys. Um, but for one... You have strategically withheld the information for strategic reasons from the person, but it's about to get out to them. So I think that's the journey mentally here uh, for the one that's going to be mentally stressed out when the person receives the information that you were strategically withholding. Um, but for one, you're going to be happy. So uh, you're going to be in a happy mental space there. Um, for one, like I said, I feel you are the one about to deliver the information to the person, but only you know you're storing out anybody else. Um, Aquarius. A particular Aquarius is about to have to journey to the state capital soon. They never thought they were going to have to do this, but they are about to have to do it and do it quickly. The shit has hit the fan. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, wow, Aquarius. So, one of you guys, I heard you're going to have to journey to the state capital soon. 
um, soon and quickly. So like five, five, five with the eight of wands energy fast, um, because the shit has hit the fan. I heard you never thought you were going to have to do it, but you are going to have to do it. So, um, state capital energy, um, however that resonates Aquarius, I feel you might be high level. Um, you're about to have to journey to the state capital. So it's, there's a reason you're about to have to, about to, have to journey to the state capital for some reason. And you're going to have to do it quickly. Um, so I wonder if it's like Supreme Court energy. I didn't hear it was, but I wonder if it's like Supreme Court energy or something of that nature. There's a very specific reason why you're about to have to pick up and just go to the state capital. Whoever you are, you don't live in the city of your state capital. I'll tell you that. Um, so that's the journey physically. A lot of expl explanations are going to have to be had, but people are not going to hear them because they know you're going to be lying. At this point, you're going to reveal information on a Scorpio, a Pisces, and a Libra. Okay, I heard a lot of explanations are going to be had once you get to the state capital. Um, but people are not going to hear them because they know 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 you're going to be lying. Uh, um, and so at that at that point, I heard you're going to reveal information on a Libra, uh, um, Pisces, and a um, Scorpio, and a Gemini, and a Gemini, a Libra, a Pisces, a Scorpio, and a Gemini. They could have Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, World, Moon, and Hamster, Jupiter charts. Wow, Aquarius! Holy crap! Shield, you need to defend yourself. That could be at the state capitol, I'm feeling. I'm feeling that's at the state capitol. People's rights are very, very, very serious. Very serious. A particular Aquarius did not take this into account in the past because of greed. But they are about to learn this the hard way, in a huge way. Okay, I heard particular uh, Aquarius did not take into account somebody's uh, rights and liberties in the past. I heard they're very precious and basically you shouldn't tread on people's rights and liberties and that's very true. You shouldn't. Um, but I heard uh, Aquarius did not take into account somebody's rights and liberties in the past. They were very, very selfish and greedy in the past. But I heard they're about to learn it the hard way. So um, you need to defend yourself. I wonder if this is in the court of law, Aquarius. Um, or to a judge, or to a jury, or to the Supreme Court. I didn't hear Supreme Court, but you plug it in how it resonates. This is serious, Aquarius. Huge repercussions are going to be had here. Huge. Not just for this Aquarius, but for other people. The Libra, Pisces, Gemini, and, a, and Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Okay, I heard huge repercussions are going to come here, not just for the, for the Libra, Pisces, Gemini, and um, Scorpio, but for Sag too. Um, this is serious. A Taurus has a lot to do with this. Know this. And he should. A Taurus has a lot to do with this and he should. So a Taurus has a lot to do with this and he should is what I heard. So a masculine Taurus has a lot to do with this Aquarius and I heard he should. So um, maybe he's the one that's summoning you to the state capital um, Aquarius. And a Cancer. And a masculine Cancer. A masculine Taurus and a masculine Cancer has a lot to do with this um, and they should. I think they're the ones about to summon one of you guys to the state capitol. Um, this is serious. I'm thinking this might be Supreme Court energy. And I, I mean, I didn't hear that, but I'm feeling it. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Somebody treaded on somebody's rights and liberties in the past, all for greed and selfishness. But they incorporated other people to do it. Um, and for one, it's an Aquarius that did this. Um, for some of you guys, I, or for a majority of my subscribers, I feel you might know this person is what I'm feeling. Um, I feel you might know this person that's about to have to travel to the state capitol. Um, I don't feel it's you for a majority of my, uh, my, my collective. I feel it's somebody you know. For some, you might help get this person there. I don't know. 
But my goodness, there's an Aquarius that's about to have to travel quickly to the state capital. And I am just being serious. And they're going to have to defend themselves. But a Taurus masculine and a Cancer masculine has a lot to do with this too. So I don't know if other Aquariuses has anything to do with this. But definitely a Taurus masculine and a, a Cancer masculine. So you have to plug it in your own life, how it resonates and um, applies for you, Aquarius. Um, wow. An Aquarius is about to end up losing their home. Rico Act. For some Aquariuses, it's two plus homes. Rico Act. Oh my God. So we got Rico Act energy in here. So for one Aquarius, they're going to end up losing their home due to the Rico Act. So Rico Crimes, Rico Act. Uh, for some, it's two or two plus homes. Um, however that resonates, it sounds like they acquired these homes um, through extortion, embezzlement, money laundering, etc., etc., etc. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Through many series of chain of events, a Libra, very much in the public eye, a politician. They will be asked to resign, to resign, know this. Abuse of power in the past. Oh my God, what is going on in here? Okay, I heard through many series of chain events, a Libra position of high authority politician. I heard specifically a politician. I don't know if it's a masculine or fin Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. Older Libra. Older Libra. Um. Position of high authority politician, masculine or femme. I heard they're about they're about to be asked to re, to resign um, because of abuse of power in the past. So you plug it in, how it resonates, and it will happen quickly. This is so embarrassing, and this will happen quickly because it's so embarrassing. So whoever this, some kind of politician in, in the universe somewhere is about to be asked to resign, um, just straight up. Um, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but they are older and they have abused their power in some shape, form, or fashion in the past. And they're about to be asked to resign, whoever they are and how they apply. Somehow, I think the journey to the capital, um, state capital, is significant in this, possibly. And somehow an Aquarius is significant in this. Um, this is a, whoo, this reading. Holy crap. And know this Pisces, pregnant Pisces fam is about to betray you in a huge way again. Really bad choice. Oh my God. And I, uh, whoever is dealing with this pregnant Pisces fam that's apparently pregnant with triplets and doesn't realize they are right now. However, you're connected to her, sir, ma'am. Whoever you are dealing with her, I heard she's about to betray you again. She was a really bad choice. So I don't know if she's a family member, she's a lover. I'm not sure, but somehow she is about to betray you again. I uh, feel she's younger than you, Aquarius. Um, and I think it's going to give you lots of anxiety. I heard she was a really bad choice. So somehow you chose her in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. But she is like a ten of swords kind of person. Um, it sounds like she gets up to where she wants to be. And then she does, has no qualms of just betraying the hell out of people like she's not loyal is what it sounds like definitely not loyal this aquarius is about to learn this in a hard a hard 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 way okay i heard definitely not loyal this aquarius is about to learn it in a hard 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 way oh my god aquarius i don't know what's going on in here this is god let me see if i hear anything else
One younger Aquarius, 30 and below, is about to really step up for activism. They're about to get lots of high honor. Lots of high honor. Oh, well, congrats to whoever that's for. Uh, a younger Aquarius, 30 and below. I heard you're about to really step up in um, um, activism, I heard. And you're about to get lots of high honor. Congrats to whoever that's for. That's beautiful. You're 30 years below. You could have Aquarius in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammond, Jupiter charts. And I heard you're about to get lots of high honor, sir, ma'am. So honor will come to you. Um, congrats. Skateboarding is significant to one Aquarius. And a shopping spree is significant in, to one Aquarius. Okay. Skateboarding and a shopping spree is significant to one Aquarius. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Well, some kind of skateboarding and shopping spree energy. Well, congrats to you, whoever that's for. I love it, I love it, I love it, whoever that's for. All right, you guys. Unexpected news soon for an Aquarius. For one, it's really good. For one, it's really bad. Unexpected news soon for an Aquarius. For one, it's really good and one, it's really bad. So, and a younger Aquarius, 30 and below, is about to get a job offer of a lifetime soon. Okay, a lot of younger Aquarius energy in here. Good younger Aquarius energy. Um, so, you get 30 and below Aquarius energy. You could have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. I heard you're about to get a job offer soon. Job offer, job offer for a lifetime. Well, congrats, whoever that's for. I can't wait till I get the crap out of this crazy-ass city so um, I can get a wonderful job opportunity. Y'all know, for anybody doesn't know, I'm done to reading, you can click off. I'm done, you can click off. But for anybody doesn't know, um, my plans are is to win my custody of my kids back on July 15th of 2022. That's goal one. Goal two, renovate my home so I can rent it out. And then three, move out of this state, out of this state. Like, state, state, state. So, um, that's my three goals for anybody who doesn't know that. Um, I am, my custody battle is July 15th of 2022 with my ex-husband. It's not the first rodeo with him. It's at least court battle number five. I think it is more like six or seven. It's at least five. Um, he's accused me of child abuse in the last court battle. Um, the one before that, I had a boyfriend at that time. It was about six years ago, and he basically manipulated my daughter, uh, bought her a device, a phone at that time, but manipulated her with the device to go around my rented home at the time because I'd lived here for five years. And when I was dating that man about six years ago, I lived in a rented house out in the country. I live in the city now. Um, but he manipulated my daughter to take the device and take pictures in my home of um, a, um, a drawer I made for him to put his belongings in when he came over because he said I had to follow by the court papers, which is true. I do have to follow by the court papers, but I wasn't breaking the court papers because the man didn't live with me. Um, so, um, but he was trying to prove that I broke the court papers, that I was, um, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, not perjuring, but, um, you know, break contempt of court, contempt of court, that I was contempt of court by breaking the court papers so we could take the kids, basically. Um, but I wasn't. I wasn't. Um, and he couldn't stand the fact that I had a boyfriend because he didn't want me to have a relationship, a healthy relationship, and get married. And that's just the truth because he knows I'm one income. He knows I'm one income, and he can't stand the fact of me progressing in life. And, I mean, and I'm just being serious about that. Um, I know him, and I know that's the truth. But he's been married about a decade, and have I ever bothered him or his uh, his wife, current wife? Never, 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 never bothered them. Never a day in my life. Um, never. So I should be afforded the same rights, freedoms, and liberties to not be bothered in myself. And that's just the truth. But yet, he likes to legally drain me by taking me to court situation and court situation and court situation. Because every time I have to lawyer up with a private lawyer and spend thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars in private lawyer fees. Because my ex-husband knows that my kids are my life. And he knows I will fight till the end. Um, and he knows I'll pay the legal fees to do it. Which I have all these times. Um, so... 
he know all that money that I've spent on legal fees, I could have used it on vacations. I could have used it to pay off my home. I could have used it to renovate my home. I could have used it for many positive things. I could have used it for private school for my kids. Many positive things in my life, but yet I've had to spend it in court battle after court battle after court battle after court battle, all because he likes to be mean. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, but anyways, if everybody could just keep me in your um, thoughts and well wishes and positive vibrations and meditations or whatever you do um, spiritually or spiritually and religious wise or what have you, what have you, no judgments on religion or age or gender or sexual orientation or what have you, what have you here. Um, I would very much appreciate it because what he, uh, my ex-husband is doing is very, very, very wrong. It's very wrong. It's abuse of the legal system. It's abuse of a single mother and it's not okay. It's just really not. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Um, just keep me in your thoughts on 7-15 of 2022. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys and namaste.